What's up everybody, this is Scott from TheLetsToMetal.com and this is my wife Lori and this is her first time appearing on camera with me. Uh, she's been my camera woman, but the reason she's appearing in this video is because uh, I received this huge box from uh, Blackmore Rules in Canada and I wanted to show a bunch of the stuff, basically a vinyl and, and CD update and uh, there was one thing in that box that I thought was kind of blasphemy but my wife kind of liked it so... Go Pins! So anyhow, my wife Lori. <laughs> Making Peace her out. <laughs> All right, so uh, yeah, Blackmore Rules sent me this huge box of records and CDs, and uh, I didn't do a live opening. I'm gonna just get, actually go through some of this stuff and just show it to you. Uh, having a chance to listen to all of it, I've had a chance to listen to some of it, and um, yeah, we'll just go through it starting right now with the very first record. Was playing in the background, La Chinga, uh, kind of a classic '70s retro band. Bit of a groove, uh, kind of remind me a little bit of like Fall Cat or Focused. Uh, there was one song here, I don't know why, it just reminded me really of, of Focus. But uh, yeah, good 70s, heavy hard rock, La Chinga. Um, don't know much about them yet, I uh, do like what I hear. Uh, that'll be playing in the background during the entire time I'm showing you these records. So if anybody knows more about them, let me know. If, uh, if you like them, if you don't like them, whatever. Uh, next up is a band called, um, actually, uh, Next up is a band called The Headpins, Canadian band. Uh, I am slightly familiar with these bands. Um, if I'm not mistaken, they have a female and one vocalist, but um, I'm not uber familiar with them. I only heard a couple songs. Uh, I'm looking forward to checking this one out. I haven't had a chance to spin it yet. Um, I just know that they are a Canadian band and uh, highly recommended by a bunch of friends in Canada. This next band, I don't even know if I'm going to say it right. <laughs> I'm thinking it's Come On. But that logo is kind of hard to read, so come on. Uh, I haven't heard this one yet either, but this is um, a fairly new release. I'm thinking it's like 2014. I have a feeling from the look of the album, it's probably going to be a more of that kind of 70s heavy retro rock. Um, so I'm looking forward to checking out Come On. Maybe one of you guys knows something more about these guys. Um, this is a limited edition release. This is a 690 of 1000 pressing. Uh, what do we got next? Okay, one I know nothing about. I haven't spoken about at all. Maybe you guys know Duché um, and uh, Mama Let, Let Him Play. Uh, I'm assuming by the uh, look of the record, by the cover, it's probably going to be like guitar based hard rock. Um, you know, Joe Perry Project, Robin Trower, Pat Travers, that kind of stuff. Um, we'll find out <laughs> when I spin it. Um, on the mushroom label. Pretty cool label. Like I said, don't know anything about them. So, uh, this next band is uh, very cool. I did spin this one. Uh, this is, and it's still in shrink wrap actually. This is a band called Spell. And I believe this is a 2014 release. Um, this is heavy metal. This is like um, your classic uh, new wave of traditional heavy metal. Is the insert. Uh, and just in case anybody's you know, curious, this album was recorded under a full moon. But <laughs> I guess it's all part of their, their stick, you know, that whole uh, spell, scary, full moon kind of thing going on. Um, very good record. As a matter of fact, I think I'm going to put a clip in uh, right here. So there you go, a little bit of spell. Um, this next one I'm really happy to have in my collection. Uh, one of the few Robin Trower albums that I'm missing. 
I uh, love Robin Trower. You know, one of the Hendrix prodigies, I, that's how I describe him. Of course, you know, it doesn't sound exactly like Hendrix, but he's just that guitar-based heavy rock and roll. Um, sometimes blues-based, um, mostly just straightforward heavy rock. Um, so yeah, Robin Trower, back it up. Oh, so that was a cool cover too. And if I'm not mistaken, this is uh, on the Chrysalis label like most of his albums are. This is a uh, uh, Tokyo Blade Metal Rendezvous. Um, this is actually a Bonsai record release. If you look right, let's see, right there, <laughs> on the wrong side. So Bonsai Records, I'll show you the label on this one. The Bonsai label. So this is a cool addition to the collection. I do have the original Tokyo Blade album that was self-titled. Uh, Metal Rendezvous, as I, as I, I believe, is a little different from um, the self-titled with the same cover. Um, so it's really cool to have this. Uh, I think it's it might be the only one, or maybe I have one other uh, Bonsai release. So very cool to have Bonsai record stuff. Of course, it's highly collectible. All right. Um, next one up. This is also very cool to have in my collection. I had this on CD and I love this album. Nice to have on vinyl. Victory. Uh, this is a German, uh, I don't know. I just want to say pop metal, hair metal. I don't know. Just straightforward, melodic, heavy metal. Um, great hooks, great vocals. Um, and uh, this actually has um, one, of the guitar one of the guitars from Accept uh, on it. Herman Frank, and uh, Frank is right there. I actually got to meet Accept a few years ago out in Hollywood, and uh, I brought my CD of this along. And had um, you know Herman was there playing with Accept, and I had him sign this. So very cool, a great album. Um, this album comes with a huge poster of the band. So there you have it, Victory. Um, yeah, they have several other albums out too I'd love to get eventually. Um, I have a few on CD. This is actually the only one I own on vinyl at the moment. Um, fantastic record. Probably the record I was most excited about seeing in that package. Um, except for maybe the Tokyo Blade and the, um, the Spell record. Alright, now some of the records I you know I never heard of, some of the records I have heard of and, and, and wanted, some of these I already have. Uh, and I did you know tell him that and uh, he said that, that was cool that you know I could pass them on and give them a good home. And I do know some people who I'm gonna give some of these records to that I'm gonna you know have a good home to. Um, so I'm gonna share a few of these real quick. because uh, some of these are you know favorites of mine, even though uh, let's see, so we got Robin Trower. This is Robin Trower and Drac Bruce BLT, which I think I played in a past video uh, the week that Jack Bruce died. Um, great album. And then Robin Trower, uh, Passion. Great cover art, great record. And one that I uh, think is really great, it's half live, half studio, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Robin Trower, Beyond the Mist. All right. Uh, <laughs> And a couple of these records, um, <laughs> I'm, I'm just, um, <laughs> well, I just wasn't quite sure <laughs> if he was kidding or not, but, uh, yeah, Donnie and Marie. There is a song on here called Deep Purple, <laughs> and Blackmore Wolves is a huge Deep Purple fan. I'm assuming that's his motivation behind sending this record. Uh, excuse me. And we have, uh, Mylon Lefebvre. Broken Heart. This is a an old Christian, I don't know, contemporary rock band. I wouldn't say hard rock at all, just contemporary rock. And then uh, a couple of comedy records. Mike Warnke live, and Mike Warnke, uh, Jester in the King's Court. And then. Uh, <laughs> Well, um, this one here I made mention in my 1973 video from a couple weeks ago that I didn't have any, uh, I didn't have this record and it needed to be in the 73 video. Montrose. <laughs> so, uh, yep, have an extra copy of Montrose, so I will be blessing somebody with this. <laughs> so, there you have it. Uh, and then there also in this package was um, 
some books. This is I love to rock and roll, except when I hate it. I kind of paged through this one, and I but I don't know what this one's about yet. Um, looks interesting. Saw a lot of bands mentioned that I am very familiar with. Paranoid Black Days with Sabbath and other horror stories. The Grand Illusion. Story of Sticks, Chuck Pinoza. And then uh, a very cool um, Deep Purple fan magazine called Darker Than Blue. And this thing is just packed. I mean, I have to get my magnifying glass to read this. There's just so much stuff in here to read. But it's very, very cool magazine. And I'm a huge Deep Purple fan, so that was very cool to have. And then, uh, excuse me, how was you driving nuts today? <sighs> And then there was also this uh, Aerosmith mug, which I thought was awesome. This will be adorning adorning my my uh, room somewhere. <laughs> and then uh, a bunch of CDs. Um, Motorhead, Motorhead, Fast, Loose, and Loud. A few of these I'm not I'm not really familiar with. Inward Eye. I don't know what this is. Uh, check it out. Adding to the status quo collection, status quo pictures. Ken Tampa, the Wake the Nations. ZZ Top, one foot in the blues. <laughs> and the Hanson Brothers. Uh, this one, what is this one here? Johnny, Johnny Hansen presents Puck Drop Puck Rock Volume 2. <laughs> kind, of, kind of curious to hear this one, you know, I'm a huge hockey fan. That's just Blackmore rules. Um, so I wore my Flyers jacket today because uh, Flyers just played and and won, beat the beat the National Predators. Autographed CD by a band called Monster Truck, who I'm not familiar with, but I'm looking forward to checking out. Live status quo. Towers of London. Chevy. Heavy. <laughs> this is Triumph Rock and Roll Machine. Um, this is the, I believe this is the American pressing that mixes the first two albums together. Looking forward to, I actually I don't have that on vinyl. I'm looking forward to getting it on vinyl one of these days. Um, good record regardless. Pluto. Um, this one I do have, so again, this is going to be blessing somebody. This is a great record from a fantastic vocalist uh, and guitarist, Tamplin. From the Witness Box, I believe it's called, In the Witness Box. Um, status Quo, Rockin' and Rollin'. This one should be cool. Thor, Triumphant. Jolin Turner, live in Germany. The Anger Brothers. You haven't heard that one yet either. One of the few Joan Jett and the Blackhearts albums I'm missing. This is uh, Unvarnished. And um, finally, Sword Metalized, which is one of the other ones I actually already do own. Um, so this one will be going to a good home. Uh, th and this is a great record. Fantastic, melodic, straightforward heavy metal. Great stuff. And then uh, finally, um, a, a, a double album from uh, Gamma Ray. And then uh, at the very bottom of this uh, box was a poster. Alice in Chains and Monster Truck, which is the band that he sent me this signed CD from. So I'm looking forward to checking out Monster Truck. I assume they're a local Canadian band. Um, Blackmore Roll lives in, um, oh shoot, Prince George, that's it. I think Prince George in Canada. And uh, I assume they're a local band from that area. So uh, looking forward to checking them out. And uh, that's it, I think. Oh yeah, there was one other thing in here. <laughs> uh, Justin Bieber. <laughs> um, 
And actually, he sent me a couple other things too. I saw in my last video. He showed me that, sent me that shirt of Striker, which I wore, and the CD of Striker. And uh, yeah, so some wonderful stuff, uh, you know, to add to the collection. Um, just wanted to share it with you guys. You know, uh, some of this stuff I'm not familiar with. Let me know if you uh, know anything about them. So that's it for this edition. God bless. Stay strong. <laughs>